Hello, I am Professor Yogesh Rajadhyaksha. We will discuss today the subject engineering drawing. It is in uh, semester two. In that, one of the most important chapters is orthographic projection. Now, what is the basic concept of that? Imagine there are three screens, and an object is placed here. If you throw light from this point. the shadow obtained will be on this screen which will be like a rectangle that shadow will show only length and height now if you throw light from this direction in this direction the shadow obtained is on this screen which will show the dimensions breadth and height similarly if light is thrown from above top the shadow is obtained on this screen which will shows length and breadth now i said shadow but in actual drawing we should draw the images how this object will appear from this direction which is called as front view top view and this is called as left hand side view this is very basic uh, example if you go in depth this is one example in which we should do the same thing what can you see from front view from top view and from side view imagine when you see from here you can see this surface as l shape this surface will appear as rectangle here and this surface which is not in same plane but when you see from here shadow will be coplanar or image will be coplanar like when you stand for photograph all the people in photograph appear in same plane now how we should draw that this is a place for front view this corner we can see here this height is 35 so from this corner we will draw line of height 35 this is 80 80 this height is 15 this length is 20 and we see this l shape now similarly this edge will appear here means at this position of height again same as this 20 so we get second part of our image that is rectangle this point will appear here when you look from this side this point will appear at this location that is here height of this edge is 30 this length is given same as this 25 25 so this is 25 15 below this is given as 15 this is given as 25 then we start from this point this point will appear at this location because they all appear coplanar 
so from this point this height is 90 minus 35 so we will draw this line full length is 90 then from this corner 25 inside this length is given as AD 80 minus 25 minus 25 80 minus 50 is 30 so from this point from this point you will draw line of length 30 here and then join these points this is just an example of how we should go for drawing one view in orthographic projection now if you can see here we have to do multiple things simultaneously like imagination calculation and drawing in top view you can see I have drawn here rectangle already which gives me a reference box for drawing the view like in front view we have drawn the box of dimension length versus height so before you start drawing any view you draw these boxes how to get this length in front view length is 80 and height is 90 length is 80 height is 90 and when you see from side you can see the breadth as 90 so observe I have drawn the boxes this length as 80 the height as 90 for top view we can see length horizontal and breadth as vertical so this is again 80 projection of this and this length is 90 I'll go for top view in top view imagine you see from here this was the front view observer the same observer when he goes above it will be like this so this will be right side this will be left side top and bottom so for that observer this will be base of view so this line is the location of these lines this will be topmost part means if you can see these rectangles 1, 2 and 3 will appear at the topmost location so how to start consider one corner this corner is top right corner this is the location of top right corner you can see these three rectangles though they are not in same plane but when you see from top view they will appear in same plane so this corner I have shown here dimension is 25 this box has length 30 we have seen here already and this last rectangle also has length 25 so you can see though they are not in the same plane they will appear in same plane all three boxes how to go about this this is 40 for the observer this length will appear vertical if you can imagine this will appear vertical for the observer then just complete the boxes the next plane for this observer the nearest three planes are these three rectangles the next plane visible for the observer is this part now to start that this corner 
will appear here perfectly below this point so this will appear here this location is here so from this point this age of 50 will appear vertical so we draw one line of length 50 then we reach to this location then this length is 20 which will appear horizontal this point is perfectly below this corner so in top view this will appear here at this location the length is 20 which will appear vertical for the observer so you draw one line vertical of length 20 now you can see we have got these two points now when we join these two points we get this age such lines are called as non isometric lines which are inclined which are not parallel to length breadth or height now the last part is this triangle when you see from top this corner will be bottom most and left most bottom most and left most means it will appear here this point will appear here so just join this you get second view which is top view now last view is left hand side view why it is called as left hand side view so imagine if you are standing like this this is your left side so when you look from here it is left hand side view now first try to imagine what can you see from left side can you see this step now imagine the observer is standing like this same observer has come here right side left side top and bottom this entire edge will be left most in the box so this corner will be here we will draw one line of length 90 this length this length is 40 so either you can measure 40 from here or there is one more method we can project these lengths from here I have drawn this line at angle 45 so when you project at angle 45 remember these two lengths are equal so same dimension 40 we get here so now we have reached to this point just join these two points now this height is how much either you can subtract 90 minus 35 and get this length one method or like we have projected these points here you can project these points from front view so I'll go for that method I'll project the points from front view which is technically correct method once these two views are drawn it is easier to draw third view because we get all projections now just focus this point we have to join this line till this location which you can see in front view here in front view you can see this point here so just make this line dark we have reached to this point inside view 
this length is 20 either you can measure and draw the line or you have taken the projection of 20 from here now this height is same as this 20 again either measure or by projection and now this length 30 next part is this rectangle it was visible in front view now it is visible in side view as well this edge will appear here so you can see the rectangle will appear of smaller length it is called as apparent length this line we will draw here because this point inside view will appear at this location this is the side view visible part there is one extra part like when you take photograph you don't show the hidden parts but when you go for engineering drawing you have to also show the hidden edges which are not visible like when you see from side view this edge and this edge are not visible because they are hiding behind this bigger part those lines those edges we draw this and this location we draw by dotted line these are also called as hidden line this is just introduction to orthographic projection why we draw front view at this position why left hand side view goes on the right side what is the meaning of orthographic this these all terms you will study when you will join our batches in Vidyalankar you can uh, contact the nearest branch and all the best for your engineering thank you